Harry, here we are, the final two games of the qualifying campaign. What's the main emotion with you amongst the players going into these two games? Um, I think it's mixed, excitement's one. Um, maybe a little bit of nerves as well, but that's always good. We have to make sure that we use that in the right way. But um, yeah, I think after the way the summer games went, the disappointment we had, I think the way we've picked ourselves up, the performances that we've put in since to put us in this position, I think we have to make sure that we grab it with both hands. Yeah, the fact that you're in control of the situation, how much of a relief is that and how much of an extra boost does that give you? Yeah, I think it probably is a bit of a relief because I think we started the group really well. I think getting a point out in Croatia and then doing what we needed to do against Latvia at home. And then, yeah, like I said, the summer games didn't go to plan. But like I said, the way we picked ourselves up and to put it back in our own hands now, I think we would have bitten your hand, hand, uh, bitten your hand off for that if, we, if you'd said that that would have been the case in the summer. summer. And what is it, Harry, about weeks like these when everything's on the, on the line? It's it's all or nothing. What's it like to be a part of games like yeah, it's this? It's amazing. These are the games you want to be a part of, um, going into them knowing what you you need to do. Um, and yeah, the pressure's on us then to make sure that we deliver. But yeah, like I said, that's that's what you want. These games they mean they they mean ev ev they mean everything to you as players. And uh, yeah, you know you've got the nation behind you, which gives you that extra boost. You've spoken about the disappointment back in June against Armenia and Turkey. As a group of players, did you ever think you'd be in this position where you're two wins away from getting to Germany, from finishing second in the group? I think we always believed it. Uh, I think we had to, because if we let our heads drop after the summer games, then yeah, we wouldn't be in the position we're in now. So I think as a group in that, sub in that September uh, camp, we had a meeting. We put to bed the wrongs that were in the summer and made sure that, yeah, that we were back on it. I think it all started in that friendly against South Korea. They were a great team, so to get the result we did there, to put on the performance we did, I think that really set us up. Um, and since then, I think we've been brilliant. I think we've done the job against maybe the Gibraltars, the, the lesser games, the lads who come in have showed why, they, why they're part of the squad and pushed the lads who are start, starting and then the lads who are starting. The performances they've put in in the qualifying games have been top. So, um, yeah, I think it's been a real collective eff effort and now we need to make sure that we finish the job. Yeah, the reaction has just been superb and that win over Croatia, it felt like a massive turning point for the team and for this campaign, but I have to say it felt like a massive turning point for you as well. Two goals, the 50th cap. It was quite the night for you, wasn't it, Harry? Yeah, for me personally, it was a special night and yeah, I knew that going in, I was going to win my 50th cap. And But yeah, the night wasn't about me, it was about the team, it was about the country and making sure that, yeah, like I said, we, we got the job done. I think Croatia losing to Turkey a couple of days before, although it wasn't the result we wanted, it maybe helped us in a way because Going into that Croatia game, we knew that we had to win, where if they'd won a few, a few days before, a draw might have been good enough, but that took it out of our hands. So we went into that game knowing that we had to win. Yeah, the, the atmosphere was incredible. I think our first half performance was strong and to start the second half the way we did, I think that just catapulted us onto a new level. level. And to get the second goal, um, yeah, I think maybe put a little bit of pressure on us because we maybe dropped a bit deeper than what we needed to. But the way the lads defended and hung on the last five ten was, uh, yeah, it was amazing. I'm going to say the last ten minutes were unbearable watching <laughs> watching from the side. So I don't know what it was like to play in. Um, Rob Page has also come out publicly and said he's had conversations with you. He said, in his words, he now he now sees you as one of the main men of this team. What's that like to hear? And that he has so much trust in you and supports you so much. Yeah, that's amazing, amazing to hear. I think for a long time we've, we've had Gaz and we've had Rambo who have been kind of the talisman, the, the people we've looked look to in their moments to give us that, yeah, that moment of mag magic, if you like. And now Gaz has retired and Rambo's had a few injuries. Um, yeah, it's up to me and a couple of others to make sure that we step up to the plate. And thankfully I was able to do that against Croatia. But yeah, we know that the quality we've got, especially at the top end of the pitch, that uh, yeah, if it's not me, it's, it can be somebody else. I think he also said the Gibraltar game when obviously you had a lot of new faces. He told the youngsters, OK, watch Harry train, watch him warm up because he just does everything perfectly. Is that sort of having that responsibility, being a bit of a role model to the youngsters coming through now? What's that like? Yeah, I think, yeah, the warm up and that, I make sure I always do things right. I like to train how, how I play and because then come a match day, I know I'm in the yeah I'm in the right frame of mind. My body's in the right place, so that's something that I've always found important. Yeah, and if it's something I can pass down to the younger lads coming through, um, yeah, that's that's always nice as well. Do you feel different at all? Do you feel uh, like I feel, yeah, I feel a bit more responsibility. I feel 
up until maybe yeah 12 months ago I was maybe one of the younger lads in the squad but now we've got a new wave of of youngsters coming through um, the important players our leaders a few have retired or aren't around the group anymore so yeah I feel that I'm towards the older end of the group now I'm the more experienced played a lot of games at club level getting the 50th cap as well I'm probably one of the most capped in the squad now so I feel that extra responsibility in terms of yeah maybe the way I'm off the pitch and um, yeah maybe lads are looking up to me more than what they have done in the past so it's up to me to keep them standards high um, yeah make, make sure I'm doing things right. And there'll be a loss of responsibility on Saturday, Armenia away. We all know, obviously, what happened back in Cardiff in June. Well, is that on the back of your minds at all? No, I think we've got to put, put that to bed. We know, well, we've analysed it, we've been through it. We know the things that we got wrong in that game and the things that we have to do better. But we know it's going to be tough. The places when you go to these sorts of places, they're always hostile. Maybe the ground isn't great, the pitch isn't great, but we have to deal with all of that, uh, make sure that we're on the top of our game and trust the quality that we've got in the squad because yeah, against a team like Croatia we showed, showed that so if we can beat them um, yeah, there's no, there's no reason why we can't go to Armenia and, and get the three points there. And as a group you're on the brink of doing something amazing yet again quali qualifying for the Euros for the third time that's a pretty exciting prospect isn't it? Yeah it's amazing I think for some of the older boys in the squad it's going to be the third time in a row for them for a lot of us hopefully it's going to be the sec second time and yeah, I think the, ex the expectations changed a bit now from a few years ago. We're expected to qualify now and to be in that position and to have it in our own hands, it's up to us as players to grab that.